Now, let me express my heartfelt pride of welcoming to the Prime Global Forum 2021 on our plenary stage as a keynote speaker, Maxime Lacat. Maxime is a student at McGill University in Canada, long-standing Prime signatory, studying sustainable business management and social entrepreneurship. Like many students within the Prime community, Maxim is an impactful change maker himself already. Maxim is, for example, the chair of the Canadian Business Youth Council for Sustainable Development, whose mission is to unite Canadian student organizations in sustainable business. I'm very proud that Maxim with us here today will make the official launch of Prime's newest strategic initiative, which will focus specifically on and with the future leaders of the world, our students. Maxime is also a member of the very first PGS, Prime Global Students Advisory Board. Prime Global Students aims to empower sustainability-oriented student organizations worldwide and bring leaders like Maxime closer to Prime activities, our chapters, our working groups, our e events, etc. And as many other young people, Maxime also wants to challenge us a bit. So, Today, he asked if he could bring some novel technologies, some visual effects to his session. So we decided to pre-record Maxim's session a few days ago. I'm very excited to explore this new form format here with you. So please enjoy. Thank you, Mitte, for your kind words and introduction. Welcome, everyone. My name is Maxim Lacat, and I am a student at McGill University studying sustainable business management and social entrepreneurship. I was the president of the university's Sustainable Business Network for three years, and I am the founder and chair of the Canadian Business Youth Council for Sustainable Development. Today, as one of its board members, I have the pleasure and privilege to officially launch the Prime Global Students Initiative, the newest strategic initiative by Prime. But before I explain what PGS is, I would like to give a shout out to Paolo Speroni, the project executive leader at the global level on the Prime Secretariat, who has been the central brain and hardworking hands behind this whole initiative. PGS is an initiative by and for students that aims to empower student organizations dedicated to sustainable business by increasing their local and global connection to each other. It will also help universities harness the energy and creativity of their students to advance responsible management education even faster. It is important to understand that PGS is not born out of nothing, but a response to a new global trend in youth leadership that is actively promoting structural changes in our society toward a more just and sustainable future. My organization, is just one out of many examples of this new youth movement. And I am immensely pleased to have led together with my colleagues at the Canadian Business Youth Council for Sustainable Development, the Our Future, Our Business manifesto campaign that has been positively impacting the Canadian business environment. So before I tell you more about PGS, let me illustrate how capable we students are in building the future we want to live in tomorrow. We'll take it from here. COVID-19 has been like an x-ray, exposing the fractures in our system. Inequality is rampant and it's only getting worse. The world's richest 1% now has more than twice as much wealth as the bottom 90% of the world's population. And it's those struggling communities that will be hit hardest by COVID-19, both medically and economically. Visible injustices have compelled people around the world to yell and plead that Black Lives Matter. Democracy is being actively suppressed in places long considered free. And while all this is happening, we're still hurtling towards a global climate tipping point. At least three degrees of warming are projected. A 3.7 degree increase would cause a staggering $551 trillion in damage. 
that's more than all the wealth that currently exists combined. Even just a 1.5 degree increase by the year 2100 would cost $54 trillion, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And patterns of inequality and injustice are emerging once again. The countries and communities least responsible for climate change are going to be the least resistant and most affected by it. So what are we, current and former business students, doing to tackle these realities? Not enough. That's because we are taught to think in the exact same way that got us here. We might occasionally hear about sustainability in our class, but we aren't taught what a truly sustainable society looks like and what we can do to build it. But we have a unique opportunity to create a more sustainable, equitable, and just world. So what do we concretely do and achieve? At its core, a manifesto co-created by over 65 youth organizations, including 20 statements that represents the topics that we deem as the most important ones to talk about to shape a better future. We don't pretend to have all the solutions and don't necessarily want everyone to agree with every single point we make. However, we strongly believe that all the topics addressed in our manifesto should be consciously discussed in the business community and its schools in order to promote critical thinking more generally. Because while many schools have been innovating and in making lots of progress in the past few years, sustainability is still far from being integrated throughout the curriculum and many key topics are often excluded. So where are we now in June 2021, eight months after the launch of the campaign? Well, over 200 business professors have shared the manifesto with their students in over 40 different schools. We also got the support from 100 civil society organizations who recognize the need for change in business education. We also got the support from 130 of Canada's most influential executive leaders in sustainability. Finally, nearly 1,500 students and alumni also signed onto the manifesto, indicating their interest in more progressive change. On our website, we also published a list of resources and tools accessible to any schools in Canada, but also elsewhere, so that you can get inspiration to drive change. This movement is just one manifestation of a more general and global trend. For instance, Oikos International, Another student organization has over 1,200 student members in over 50 chapters scattered around 23 countries. Each year, they organize a case writing competition, a curriculum change initiative, international conferences, a leadership program, and research fellowships. They also helped create the positive impact rating for business schools, the world's first student-led rating on business schools and their contribution to sustainability. Pour un réveil écologique, or for an ecological awakening in English, is another one. They got over 30,000 students to sign their manifesto and created a list of essential tools to empower students and recent graduates to drive change at their academic institutions, but also push companies to do better and counter greenwashing. And that's just two examples of many more student organizations present across all continents, moving things forward. So now I would like to tell you a bit more about the Prime Global Students Initiative. First, why this initiative? The Prime community has approximately 3 million students. Still, this student potential is underexplored by Prime. Therefore, turning a current gap into an opportunity is the primary rationale behind this PGS development. It has become imperative for Prime to support the power of students, adapt to global trends, and better realize its mission. This is because we can't allow the future of business and business education to be determined in a top-down fashion where it's only professors, faculty leadership, and a few industry leaders to determine the topics to prioritize in our education. A key focus of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is intergenerational equity. 
So in order to achieve a better world, youth must be at the table. The good news is that youth are capable of pushing the conversation further, as illustrated in the previously mentioned student initiatives. And also, as shown by research, youth have a general proven track record of prioritizing and implementing climate solutions. In fact, companies around the world are starting to reap the benefits of working with young people in developing innovative ideas and preparing their businesses for the future, while simultaneously helping to create the next generation of leaders. Prime is creating PGS to help schools benefit from this untapped talent. In this sense, Prime Global Students is one initiative with two expected goals to Prime. First, PGS aims to be a specific arena for students within the Prime community where students can come together, exchange ideas, develop spark connections, and empower their local student-run organizations. Additionally, by creating the student-led movement within the Prime community, PGS aims to push students to organically occupy and take the lead in other already established Prime arenas, like chapters, working groups, champions, and others. The latter will help avoid tokenizing students by only consulting them, but not truly sharing power with them. So how is PGS being developed? So the development really is following a collaborative development process. So to accomplish its first objective and develop PGS as an arena by and for students, the Prime Secretariat has been engaging students really from the outset. We're currently assembling a team of PGS regional leaders with student representatives from all continents and subcontinents. So Latin America, North America, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Africa, Middle East, Southern Asia, Southeast Asia, and Oceania. So the PGS regional leaders basically are responsible for representing PGS within their regions with the goal of bringing together other students running student-led organizations with a focus on sustainable development and responsible management. This engagement will really help design PGS as a meaningful platform for student potentials and needs. So what can you do as a school to engage with PGS? To answer this question or other questions you might have, please join the session entitled Prime Global Students, a collaborative initiative by and for students, happening today in just a few minutes, right after this keynote from 1 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. on the side stage number two. There, you will find some of the PGS regional leaders who will go over the entire initiative in more detail. If for any reason you cannot attend that session, feel free to shoot an email to Paolo Spironi, the project executive leader or to the regional leader for your specific region to get more information directly from them. The entire audience of this forum, students, faculty, businesses, partners, must understand that PGS is an inevitable movement for the future of prime, responsible management education and sustainable development. Something that you really must engage with. So take a seat on the PGS train because it's a single ride ticket to the future with no way back. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your forum. So thank you so much, Maxim, for an impressive uh, keynote here uh, for us today. You certainly did not disappoint us. And thank you for your strong call for action to the students, your fellow students around the, the world, and to the rest of us to help and support on this important journey. And now I invite all of you to, to join us uh, into the four different sessions uh, that we have created. We have, as you will know, the Prime Global Students. We have a session on accelerating collective impact across higher education. We have the Prime Blueprint for SDG integration in business schools. And finally, we have Meet the Editors where we will be launching our new collaboration with two international journals. Enjoy. <laughs>